I'm happy to be tonight in the house of the Lord in the first Sunday of the year 2016. And uh, even though I prepared the, the message in Romanian, I just want to take a few moments for the for the young uh, uh, for the young people here to understand English better, and especially for our guests. I want to say welcome to you guys. Uh, we're glad to for you guys to be part of this church, and I want you to remember that your place is here. So. Uh, Yes. Please fill in with, uh, with everything that God put in your heart, all the gifts, and uh, we welcome you guys. We're happy to have you here. Uh, I want to read tonight from uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 16. And uh, if you have your Bibles, or we can read on the screen. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how should it be seasoned? If is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled under underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. Let the people around you see the good works so that the name of the Lord yes. can be glorified through your life. This is the message that God put in my heart for you guys tonight. So I want you guys to understand when, when the Bible was talking here to Jesus, was actually telling to his disciples about being a light and being a soul. It wasn't just an example. Back in the days, soul and light was, was very expensive. It was like gold today. Nobody had soul. So that way Jesus told their disciples, listen, you are the highest value. I put in you a big value. You're not just nobody. You are disciples. You are Christians. When you call your name a Christian, don't just think I'm an average. I'm part of a number in the church. But more importantly, you have value. I put in your heart, uh, I put in your heart my word, so that's why let the other people around you to see that. Yeah. It says right here, <coughs> but on a lampstand and gives light to all who are in the house. It gives light to everybody that is in the house. Not just for you, many Christians believe that uh, you got to have a Bible in me, in the front of, uh, uh, just like me right here, so you can preach. No, the Bible wants to use you, no matter where you are. Amen. And it says, be a light. Don't yeah. be ashamed. Amen. This is the message that I want to take with you tonight. Amen. Don't be ashamed to talk about God. When somebody gives you a beer, when somebody gives you drugs, when somebody says, come with me to the, to the club, and you say, no because it's my fate, or somebody would just say, no, I'm tired, I have homework, uh, my parents doesn't let me. No, be bold and say, yeah. it's because Amen. my fate doesn't let me do that. It's because I believe in God. Amen. I lose many relationships because I said no when I was young. I remember many, many times that people told me, come with us, and I said, no, I can't. I'm not allowed to step in that room. Yeah. I'm not allowed to do that. And I lost friendship. I lost popularity. I just became uh, another guy, even though some of them they were Christian. Then I said, no, Bible tells me that I need to be a light. I need to be an example. And I want you to tonight to go home with this message. The Lord is telling you, don't hid in your light. Don't uh, put a basket and don't let nobody see you, but yet be a light for, for everybody around you. The way how you talk. People can tell if you have a light in you. The way how you dress, the friends that you hang out with, you can tell very fast if these people, if this guy is Christian or not, yes. if he's a disciple of God or not. Yes. Remember that God wants you to use you today. The Bible talks about David that he served his the Lord and his generation. In the generation that David lived, served the Lord. Yes. David led and served the Lord when he was with the sheep. David served the Lord when he was running away from Saul, and David served the Lord when he was a king. 
God wants you to use you today so He can use you tomorrow for bigger and greater things. I, if I would not start my life when I was even yet a young man to say no to sin, to say no to temptation, to say no to friends, friends that they call me stupid, you don't have a girlfriend, you don't know how to enjoy your life, you are a virgin, Who, what is this, who are you? They were making fun of me. I was the Christian guy in the school. I remember everybody laughing and I had to put my head down and wait for the blessing. Yeah. And today I'm a blessed man. Amen. Today I have a happy family. Amen. Today I have a beautiful wife. I have kids. Amen. The Lord blessed me more than I deserve. Yes. But maybe, maybe because one day I said no to sin. Are you ready to take the sacrifice? Are you ready to say, I'm going to say no to everything? Tonight I'm going to preach in Romanian about a tree that doesn't have fruits. And Jesus said, the Lord said, cut it. Yeah. Why? Because it doesn't have fruits. I want to ask you tonight, looking deep inside of your life, I don't know you, I don't know people around here, I don't know personal life, but Jesus knows you. And answer to yourself, if Jesus comes tonight to my tree, is he going to find fruit? I was last night leaving my house at 10 o'clock, I wanted to go to Walmart and I arrived to accident scene, like five minutes away from my house, and I saw a young man under 18. Uh, he, he, he crashed into a, an, an electric tree, and the, the electric went down, and his car flipped, and he flew through the window. I was, it was shocking to see this car crash, and he was alive. The only reason probably that he was alive is because he got thrown away from his window. Everything, the car, uh, he couldn't even throw it, that's how bad it looked. He probably speeded or he was texting or he did something very bad. He literally broke into an electric, uh, a big electric post. And I asked him, what happened? He said, I don't know. He was shaking. I'm like, are you hurt? Blood was coming all over his hands. He's like, no. But he was shaking everything. And I waited over there, I put my flashlights for, so I can stop the traffic. And a few more people came and his parents arrived. And his father told me, this is his second accident in one week. The same guy. Under 18 years old. I don't know, maybe, maybe bad habits, maybe uh, driving bad, maybe texting. I don't know. But I wanted to ask you, if that person was you or me, where would you go tonight? Where would you be today if, if you would have passed away? I'm sure for him it was a wake-up call. For him, the Lord gave him a little more time so he can survive. What about you? If tomorrow is your night, we don't know how many days we have in, our, in this life. We don't know when we're going to die. But if we pass away, can we say that we serve the Lord? Can we say that uh, I never turn away my, myself from Christian, from faith, from uh, to be embarrassed to say no? I want to leave you guys tonight with these words. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven through your good works. Through your good works. Remember this. Through your good works, the name of the Lord is glorified. May God bless you. May God keep you. And this 2016, maybe it's time to say I'm old enough to take responsibility of my life. I'm old enough to say I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna pay attention to who I hang out. I'm gonna pay attention to people that I go around me. I'm gonna pay attention when I open my phone. I'm gonna pay attention when I open my computer. I'm gonna pay attention where I let my step to walk in. Psalm, Psalm 1, if you read it, you'll understand that you're not allowed to walk everywhere. You're not allowed to go everywhere you want. You are the child of God, therefore you have to represent God no matter where you are. May God bless you. May God protect you. May God hold you in your hands. And I want you guys to remember that you, are, you have light, that you have soul, therefore you are somebody. You have Holy Spirit, therefore ask for help and the Lord will reveal Himself to you. Amen. 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 Praise God.